want you to grab one of those chairs, any colour, doesn't matter, one of the chairs, bring it here and take a seat in it by the table. The green chair, good choice, just there, that'd be great. If you can take a seat in that, that'd be great. Uh, and also, I need you to pick a pen. Uh, there are a whole bunch of pens. If you grab one of them, I don't want to see which one you take, so just take it and sort of put it behind your back or cover it up or put it in your pocket or something. Good. OK, so, Joey, you have on the table here three white blocks. What you're going to do is number them, one, two, and three. But you can do that in any order you like. And in fact, I'd rather people didn't know what order you did it in. All right? Okay. So you can take them onto the table and do it yep. and mix them up and bring them out in any order. When you number them, nice and large and clear, only on the one side that faces you, but nice and large and clear so when we do want to show them around, people can see which number's which. OK, do that for me now. Yep. Go. Take them onto the table, do them one at a time, mix them up if you like, under the table, just so nobody could guess which block is which when you bring it out. Tell me when you're done. OK, thank you. Now I want you to stack them in any order you like. So keep those numbers towards you, but stack them one on top of the other, any order that you like. Done that? No. <laughs> Done. Done? OK. Happy with the order they're in? Yeah. I want you kind of making gut decisions here. Good. All right, put the pen away, please. Put it in your pocket. Get it out of the way. Done? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Quick, Joe. Great. Good. Uh, now, there is a bag just behind you on that little table. I'm not going to look at what you've done. I will keep looking here. Can you grab that paper bag, put it over the block so nobody can see? I'm not going to look, Joe. I will keep looking at this lady here, spe specifically just down her top. <laughs> Does nothing for me, don't worry. Okay. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Have you done it? Are they covered? Yeah. Joe, are you happy? First of all, that bag genuinely covers them and you can't see, well, can't see yeah. what's what. Yeah. Can you just turn it, maybe just... Joe, are you happy that it was a free choice, that the way in which you ordered the, uh, the bricks was a completely free choice? Are you happy yep. with that? Yep. And you're happy that the, uh, that the numbers can't be seen? All right. Joe, I need to do one more thing for me. There is a stand just there with a sort of a mic stand with a clip in it. I've got a couple here as well. Can you grab that? Perfect. Yep, that's it. There's a red cross. If you can just put it there, that'll be great. All right. So, Joe, come here for me. You happy this was a free choice, a seemingly free choice? Yeah. Yeah? If you take that for me. Oh, well, there are a number of seemingly free choices that you've made since you came up here. And about an hour before any of you came in, I sat on this stage wondering about what seemingly free choices I could make you or whoever came up pick. I took photographs of me with those predictions and put them in that envelope. Now, if you open the envelope up, you'll see inside are three large photographs. I don't want you to see what they are yet. I want you to take them out face down and place them on the table. All right? Please don't look at what they are yet and don't show anybody else either. Great. But can you just check there's nothing else in the envelope? Happy with that? Yeah. Excellent. Good. Done. So, the first decision that you made when you came up, Joe, was the choice of... Uh, the chair. The chair. Very good. And yep. you went for the green chair? Yeah. As opposed to the red or the blue. Happy that was a free choice? Yeah. A seemingly free choice. Yeah. Yet, the first picture that we took is of me with the, say it, Joe. Green chair. The green chair. Round of applause for Joe. <laughs> so let me fix the green chair. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me this out. <laughs> the green chair. Excellent. And the next choice you made, what was that? Uh, it was the pen. The pen? Yeah. Now there are uh, about 60 different pens in there, all different colours. Don't take it out yet. The pen I hope you went for was the blue pen. Joe, do you want to show them what you've got? What colour is it? It is indeed blue. the blue pen. Can you see that? The blue pen, a perfect match. A perfect match. Good. Well done. Good. And there's one more. One more decision that you made up here. Call it psychic. Call it coincidence. You be the judges, ladies and gentlemen. But that is, I believe, a perfect match. <laughs> yes? Oh, yeah, I realise... I realise that's pathetic. Um, but if you think about it, free choice of pen, let's say that's one in, whatever, 60 or so, free choice of uh, how to then stack the bricks in that colour, the chances of stacking the bricks in the predicted order, in the particular colour, it worked out about, it's about one in a billion, trust me. If you take the, uh, take the bag off the bricks, chuck the bag on the floor, turn the bricks around slowly from the bottom, in blue pen, three, one, two... Excellent, Joe, you've been sensational. Joe, everybody, good. Actually, Joe, 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 come, come back for a second, come back for a second. Come and stand, stand back there for a minute. There was one more decision that you made. You remember what that was? No. No? Oh. Decision to raise my hand. Exactly. The decision to choose yourself yeah. for this. And I'm pleased that you chose yourself in the same way that I'm pleased that you chose the green chair. Because if you'd have picked um, the, uh, the red or the blue chair, for example, there would have been nothing, nothing. Come round behind the green chair, tip it up in the same way so they can see. There is something. Take it off. It's a black envelope. I'm pleased you picked the green chair. Come round the front for me. 
Before you open that envelope, I do need to ask you again, Joe, I know it's an obvious point, but please, your choice to put your hand up was your decision that you made naturally as you yep, listened to that completely. piece of music, yep? Yep. Nobody asked you to put no, your hand up or anything like all. that. All right, okay. Open the envelope. Inside one sheet of paper. What does it say? 295. 295. And Joe, be honest, what's your lucky number? It's not 295. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you could have lied, Joe. It's a bit of a disappointment. <laughs> um, no, 295 does relate to something. This number relates to a ticket stub number. One of you should have a ticket stub with 295 on it. Could you have a look? Can you take your ticket stubs out? Whoever's got 295, just hold your hand up for us. Give us a wave. If you are 295, one of you should be. Have a look. It's in quite big numbers. Nobody? Someone in this room should have ticket stub number 295. Joe, do you have your ticket stub on you? In your passport. Thank God for that. 295, 295, a perfect match. Thank you very much. 295. Joe, you're a sensational. Joe, thank you. That. A cheap souvenir. Joe, everybody, thank you. Researchers now tend to talk in terms of PWA, which is perception without awareness instead of subliminals. And the difference is, is that subliminals are invisible, whereas PWA you just don't pay attention to. Like, for example, if somebody whistles a tune and you're not really aware of them doing it,